is almost 15 months ago Samsung launched a new fingerprint sensor that uses sound waves to map the ridges on your finger and unlock your phone it was developed by Qualcomm which is more secure than the optical fingerprint scanner there was one problem with it that annoyed a lot of people and still to this day and is the fact that the fingerprint recognition area is so small I mean you need to perfectly place your finger on the small recognition area otherwise it won't unlock the phone which gets annoying sometimes but a few months ago Qualcomm unveiled the successor to this fingerprint sensor and address the issue by making it a lot bigger 17 times to be exact probably that they made it faster and more secure by making it recognized blood flow and heart rate as another level of authentication that the finger being placed on the sensor is actually a live person's also this new sensor handles two fingers at once that means double the security or something like that honestly I'm not sure what the benefit of scanning two fingers at once would be for most people anyway since Qualcomm unveiled this new sensor in December last year we thought Samsung will equip it with the Galaxy S20 that didn't happen S20 has the same fingerprint scanner as the Galaxy S10 but thankfully it looks like Samsung may finally introduce this new fingerprint sensor with the Galaxy Note 20 Ross Young did an interview where he gives them Galaxy Note 20 details and he mentioned that Samsung may be the first company to introduce this to the world with the Galaxy Note 20 and we think they may be first to adopt the Qualcomm Sonic Max fingerprint technology which gives your 75 Clark sensor allows you to fingerprint on the display at the same time and therefore is much more secure which is great news if you Note 20 actually ends up with this cat people who got their hands on with this new scanner mentioned that it's way faster and convenient than the current ultrasonic scanner on devices like the S10 and Note 10 so fingers crossed that this new component and separate the Galaxy Note 20 in the production line also Ross and clears the doubt that some people had about whether or not the Galaxy Note 20 would see an under display camera technology. He said it will have a whole bunch set out in the middle just like the Galaxy 20 although I'm hoping it to be a little smaller in diameter. Next he talked about the batteries on the Note 20 he expected two phones to have batteries ranging between 4000 and 5000 mAh a few weeks ago the battery capacity of the Note 20 has been leaked and is 4000 mAh to be exact although we don't know about the Note 20 Plus's battery size is safe to assume it should be somewhere between 4700 to 5000 mAh he also talked about the RAM account said both the Galaxy Note 20 and Note 20 Plus will have 16 GB of RAM as standard which is cool I think there should be at the RAM configuration available as well to keep the cost down for price sensitive market earlier it was also said that the Galaxy 20 will only be available with full GPS standard in its 20O draw with 16 gigabytes but Samsung is selling a GPS 20 and S20 plus variants to be ultra variants so expect other RAM configurations to this good to know that the Galaxy Note 20 series will top out at 16 gigabytes finally the release date according to Ross Young Samsung will launch the Galaxy Note 20 with the Fold 2 in early August and will release it to the public at the end of August or early September that's pretty much what Crossing revealed so so far in the interview please subscribe, like the video or comment or even unlike the video thanks for watching see you on my next video one peace out.